just wanted to talk on Ardent Leisure uh, first up this morning. Uh, we haven't included it in our uh, high conviction stock picks uh, this month. Um, so essentially following on from a better, uh, you know, result during reporting season, which did surprise the market, uh, the company has also announced their intention or they will sell their health clubs business for around $260 million which was a slight premium to its book value. Uh, given some of the health club assets sit in the trust, um, you know, there is a requirement for 50% of the capital gain of those assets to be redistributed back to unit holders. So we expect the company will retain around $240 million of the 260 mil sale price. In addition to this, um, the company obviously recently um, disclosed that they will sell their marinas portfolio, um, and we expect an update uh, in this regard in the short term. Um, in my view, you know, a strategic uh, set of assets such as the marinas will attract a premium to the $108 million book value. Um, I think uh, the, the sale price could be north of $120 million, and, and hence I, I see that as another catalyst for the share price in the short term. Uh, so effectively, Ardent could um, well be in a nil net debt uh, position post the two asset sales. And given the market has persistently been worried about a stretched balance sheet um, over the last couple of years, uh, this does present a significant catalyst for the company. The DRP will be switched off, uh, which is important. Uh, that will see profit growth flow through to EPS growth uh, for the first time in, in as many years as I can remember, to be quite frank. Um, the total capital to be retained by Ardent will be around $340 million. So aside from the significant you know, balance sheet repair that comes with that, um, it will allow them to accelerate the rollout of its uh, main event centres in the US, um, uh, which do provide far superior returns, particularly compared to the domestic assets. So it makes sense. Um, we expect the $340 million will fund around 33 uh, main event centres over time. Um, and while the asset sales back here will be decretive to earnings short term because you can't build enough main event centres quickly enough to replace the earnings, they're significantly accretive over the medium to long term. Uh, so for some time, main events been the key driver of earnings for Ardent Leisure. This will be even more so the case uh, going forward. Um, from base of 30 centres, the company now, can now see a runway to 200 centres. So really over the next at least five years, you're going to be getting 30 to 40% footprint, footprint growth alone um, from the rollout of these centres. So it's pretty uh, material earnings. Um, all the new centres open to date have all achieved a 30% return on investment um, or exceeded that. So it gives us increased confidence that this, this is the right move from the company. So in summary, you know, a series of really good announcements for the companies. They're doing the right thing, redirecting capital back to their re higher returning assets and fixing the balance sheet. Essentially, I can now see, um, you know, Ardent delivering over 20% EPS growth um, from FY18 to around FY20 after, a, a, you know, a number of years of very limited earnings growth. Um, our DCF sum of the parts valuation is $3.30, so well over 15% total shareholder return versus the current share price. So more catalysts and potentially a, a, a further share price re-rating on the agenda for Ardent Leisure.